I'm laughing because. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let me let me clear my throat. So Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sissy Ella Olua, and I vlog about lifestyle, beauty, faith. If you're new on this channel, welcome. So today I am going to be playing the Never Have I Ever game. So come right with me as we have fun, okay? <laughs> I have because sometimes it's actually confusing you check the door and you see push and then there is pull right so it's so confusing you can't tell me it has never happened to you before <laughs> so what I do even at work eh I I try my best sometimes I would have forgotten I'll just push instead of pulling or pull instead of pushing you understand it has happened to me and it's really 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 embarrassing okay so don't judge me you have also done it before you've also done it before so don't look at me as if i am one hell of a bush girl no i am not <laughs> I have not I have not because I feel why should you date more than one person it is actually stressful for you to even date one person it is stressful how do you cope dating five people two people three people at a time why not fall in love with just one person and you know you guys can build whatever you guys have you know build the love build everything but you know dating more than one person i feel to me it is wrong it is really really wrong right so i don't know about other people's opinion but this is just my own opinion i have not and i don't think i can i can do that i can date more than one person yeah okay <laughs> No, I have not. I have never kissed a stranger before. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't believe in it. I don't feel it right. So we have, we all have our different principles. We know ourselves. We know the kind of things we want for ourselves. But me, I do not want that. I can never kiss a stranger. They say never say never, but I know myself. <laughs> yes i have okay shout out to my friend amanda <laughs> we went for karaoke and we we literally <laughs> sang we sang our 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 throats <laughs> out okay i'm gonna put the video right down here for you guys to enjoy i sang it was i think early this year so i sang was it early this year i think it was early this year or last year i think it was last year so i sang karaoke okay you guys can enjoy <laughs> Can you see? Can you see that baby girl can sing? We can hit that note. Oh! We can actually eat that note. So, yeah, yes, I have. <laughs> actually a long story so i'm going to cut it short it wasn't in my friend's place but there was a time in enugu that 
Okay, I served in Enugu. So there was a time I had diarrhea and really I could not step out of the house because I was pur I was purging. I literally purged all through the night and throughout the day. So around um, like 4, 4 p.m. or 5, I decided to go out, to go to Ogbete Market or main market so i went to get stuffs food stuffs you get it wasn't that there was no food at home but i just wanted to go out i just wanted to go out i just wanted to shop i just wanted to buy food and <laughs> get stuffs for myself that was how i got there and i heard puru, 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 i like like my stomach was making noise and you know i just like mm, i'll get home that was how I felt like going to the toilet, but I was like, no, 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 I will soon get home, I will soon get home. My dear people, <laughs> that was how I finished buying everything, and normally I'll take bus to New Heaven, from New Heaven to Independence Layout. So I took bus, and this bus took ages, took ages to to fill up the conductor was shouting um new heaven new heaven people were sluggish that particular day i was sweating i was right beside the the window i was <laughs> it was a very terrible experience i was sweating i i started sweating I, as in i became very touchy like if you want to enter enter the bus enter, do you know what is happening to me right now so I, we now started moving, thank God, the bus filled up and we started moving. As in, people were dropping at every junction. I almost died that day. Jeez, my stomach, I was, I was feeling, I wasn't comfortable at all. I was sweating, I was shaking. Finally got to New Heaven. After we got to New Heaven, I could not wait for Keke. I could not wait for bus. So I just took Keke, I took drop to Independence Layout. When I got to my junction, the person I was staying with was parked outside. And I got to the street. I could not even wait for the guy to park or something. I just jumped out of the of the Keke. Ah when <laughs> I pray you don't experience it. I ran like a mad woman as I threw his money at him. I didn't even remember that I was supposed to collect change. I think I was supposed to collect 200 naira change. I had, I gave him 500. I threw 500 and everything I bought. Immediately I entered the gates. I was just throwing things, throwing, throwing things. I ran like a mad woman. Like it has never happened. <laughs> I ran. When I got to the door, main door i was trying to open trying to open the door as when i entered the house hmm. my my dear people don't let me even go there it was a terrible sight it has happened to me before <laughs> and people were worried were like babes what's wrong what was happening what's um the way i ran it was a very hilarious when i finished and i went back i started packing my stuff as i was more laughing saying, like <laughs> what just happened big girl of this of independence layouts see the way i ran because of <laughs> i ran like a mad woman anyways that's the end of my story it was a it was really really a funny one funny very very funny one i pray it doesn't happen to you because <laughs> some people will shit on your body <laughs>Flushed my toilet and my phone dropped inside the toilet. It was so, 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 so disgusting that I didn't know how to remove it. I didn't know what to do. I was so confused for a while. And 
I later removed it and I had to dry the phone for five days. It didn't still work, so I had to get another phone. So I have, I've gone through that experience before. And don't tell me it hasn't happened to you. Maybe not everybody, but mm-hmm, mm, you know yourself. <laughs> has happened to me so i was coming from work and i could not wait i was on use and i literally fell i fell the guy in front of me was telling me was trying to tell me that there's something on the on the road there's a ditch or something but i was so carried away with my phone that i actually fell so it was it was really, really it wasn't a nice sight so i'm not gonna laugh if you like laugh, but it was really, 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 really terrible. It was terrible that I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed and they now had to carry me. So, and my slippers was not with me. So it was a very bad experience. So I had to remove my slippers and I had to walk home. Big girl like me. I had to walk barefooted on the road. Can you imagine that? very very embarrassing but it has happened to me and i don't want to ever have that experience again never never but if you're laughing at me right now your day your own special day is coming that you are going to fall in front of your crush anyways i'm just joking <laughs> have countless times because I'm a very very emotional person and things get to me so when I see someone that is in need and I have at that point I love to help I love to help no matter no matter what is in my bag whatever I have I just give out because sometimes I'm in need and people help me people that do not have help me so why hold on to things why hold on to money why hold on to money or food when someone beside you is hungry? That's really bad. So I have done that before. I don't even care if you're a stranger or someone I know. But I see it as a ministry. I see it as a calling for me to help if that, when I have and I go extra mile in also helping people see what I can do to sort out situations, see what I can do to make someone smile. That's what makes me happy. That's really, seriously, that's what brings joy. When I see that someone is happy, I want to surprise people. I want to give out. I want to surprise. So I have. I have actually done that. And if you haven't, please reach out to people. No matter how small, no matter how small, reach out to them, bless them, just you know i know some people can be really annoying but you know just do it for god you get and you know god will bless you you know <laughs> okay this one i'm gonna say i haven't because i have not peed in a pool before i don't have to swim so you can never catch me in a pool so i've never pulled before but i have done something <laughs> i have peed under the rain you don't know sometimes we'll be wet and you know you're you're pressed you want to pee and some some of you guys will be saying ah let me rush you let me rush you you're already wet why not pee and let the rain wash away your sins <laughs> okay so <laughs> let me let me clear my throat so if you know me very well and you know <laughs> you're close to me like um You'd have heard quack 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 quack
But if if you're not close to me, you will never hear it. You will never. And it's not that I'm pretending, you know, it will not just come. But if I am, you know me very well. My sisters can't testify to this. My parents can't testify. <laughs> it is a competition. Mm. So <laughs> shout out to my to my man. <laughs> guys we've come to the end of today's vlog thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to share comment and subscribe okay and i'm also open to suggestions ideas on whatever you want me to discuss on this vlog thank you so much i really appreciate you guys thank you and have a wonderful time bye